Hi, it's Kernsex here with a small update on the problems I was having with Make CA um, in the previous video. Um, although I got round the issue, um, I had another look into it and it seems that um, the problem was to do with um, when running Make with multiple jobs. So because I've set Make flags with uh, J4 um, that was the issue that was causing the failure and the reason why it was able to carry on after I'd run the man target. So they, the um, guy who's written the script is already aware of it because it's already been updated to version 1.7, it was fixed in 1.6 uh, but for some reason it's not been noted down as an erratum on the BLFS web page. So if you wanted to actually install make CA correctly, um, I'll show you what to do. All you need to do basically is just run it as a single job with make. So if I extract make CA, CD into it, and now if I run make install, but we, oops, install, but specify the minus J1 to say run one drop at a time. If I run it without, first of all, just to remind you of the error, it's having trouble finding the make CA.8 file. And the reason is it doesn't create it, it doesn't get that far because the jobs are making the uh, targets within the make file run out of order. So let me go back. Forget the fact that I'm uh, an ordinary user, it doesn't make any issues in this case uh, to make any difference at the moment anyway so if I extract it again go back to the uh, source if I now run make install with minus j1 you'll see it gets further ignore the fact again that it can't that it's got this permission denied but you can see now it's different to what it was before before it was doing the um, change mode on make CA and then it's doing a load of install of one of them one of the installs was just to install the man page I hadn't yet been created this time it's doing the change mode on the CA file and on this help to man file which is correct when you look at the make file the make file then it's running the help to man to create this manual page and therefore it, it works after that you can see the man page has been created there. So what I'll do, now I've shown that that's worked, I'll do a real run now instead of a dry run. Okay, so I'm going to become the root now. And I'm going to run the bank install with the J1. And bingo, it works. There's no errors there at all. So this would be probably the better way of running it rather than what I did yesterday in case I've you know, done something that causes the script to run in a slightly different way. I wouldn't have thought so, but this would be the preferred way of running it. And then of course you can carry on with the remaining commands. That's worked. And... Uh, then you can obviously carry on doing the rest of the page but obviously I don't need to do this because it's already been done so that's that um, and I'll carry on with the rest of the security uh, source files to install in the next video